Hi everyone, hope you're having a lovely day. It's super super lovely here. We've been having the springy weather for about a week now and it's just so nice to finally open the windows and let some fresh air come in. So um, today I want to share a couple of things. I'm not sure whether it's more of a demo or a whole video but there's just a couple of things I purchased and I wanted to share with you in case you were interested um, and wanted to or were curious whether you wanted to buy these things yourself and wanted to see them um, a little bit more in detail. So um, I have gone ahead and bought this Speedy Carve um, carving block. They come in different sizes and it's by the brand Speedball. Now I did a little bit of research and apparently these are supposed to be really good. Um, it's soft and quite bendy and thick. So what you can do is essentially you can even carve on both sides if you want your carving block to go a long way uh, but also because it's softer it's easier to carve apparently and I have never ever carved um, a printing block or, or, or carving uh, block before so I wanted to give it a go and basically I got this set here which is by Speedball as well and it has five um, items in there so it's called block printing kit they they sort of show you what you can do how you can carve it out and essentially you can kind of use it like a block like that or you can also cut it off and then you'd have like a separate um, kind of way of printing so you could have the florals here and this little uh, teapot as well so you could use it in different ways and then if you wanted to create one image you still could put them together and print it that way so you can make it a bit more versatile and you can see these have different colors so you could ink them up in a different color and add them as details and and basically have the pot in one color flowers in another and that's how you could do it but you could completely make it a lot easier than that so let's open this set and have a look what's inside so inside you get this stamp making kit um, instruction guide and it's really thick so it's on really nice paper as well and I guess it gives you here a couple of motifs and numbers if you wanted to give it a go. The other thing that you get here is um, oh here it's gone. So you get the handle and you get these two uh, sizes of the uh, blade, the carving blade. Now I wonder what it says on the box, what sizes these are. No, it doesn't say, so you get, um, you get a large V and a square, it says here, for the cutters. So this is a square. I hope you can see. So that's a square. And then you get a large V. So because that's not really a lot to do. I think with the square you clean up. Like once you're done carving out your details. And you want to clean up quickly these, these big areas here. That's what you use the square one for I think. Um... So that's good for that, but I went ahead and I ordered a separate kit, which I'll show you in a minute. So you basically slide it in like that, and then that's your carving tool. And um, the 4x6, I ordered another 4x6 to have as a spare, so it's exactly the same size as you can see. So you get the 4x6 handle the two blades 
Yeah. So there is tracing paper, which is um, the fifth thing, I guess, the fifth item. So, so you can use the tracing paper uh, to transfer the design onto the play uh, onto the block, I guess. So that's um, that's what you get in this kit. But I have also gone ahead and bought this um, lino cutters and handle set. So this one has the size one, which is from what I understand the smallest one, and then size two, three, four, five. Well, these are I'm not sure what the this last one is. So this is a bit more rounder, number four, and these first are the finest ones. So let's go ahead and take it out. I also like how the handle looks. So I quite like the design of the handle and this metal bit. I think it looks really neat. Like that. So you probably slide in. Let's see, I'll get the smallest one to show you the difference. So that's great for detail, which is what I wanted. So these are covered in a bit of like oily solution. I mean, these two are not covered in anything so I'm not sure why this one is anyway so you take it and you slide it in like so and then you just screw in this bit I guess is that how you do it no so you you basically put the this bit on first and then screw it quite tight and that's your carving tool done so compared to the size that you get in here you now can see how much more finer it is there we go so it's great for detail okay i would recommend to wipe all of them because they have this disgusting greasy kind of feel to them so I wanted to show you that uh, these two that you get with the kit that I showed you, in fact, um, they're not repeated in this other set. So this size here doesn't come in it. So you won't have any repeats. Um, so I'd probably keep them in one bag like so. Okay, so it's quite disgusting. The it's very kind of waxy and greasy that thing so I've gone ahead and wiped all of them and I don't think I should put them back in this bag because it's it's covered in that thing so I'll find a little um, box to keep these um, blades in in one place but once you've done that you're, you're basically good to go now um, so these are great for creating your own stamps and, you know, um, just play around and let me know in the comments below whether you're, you'd be interested in, in seeing how to do that and then I can share the process with you as well. Okay, let's move on to something a little bit more fun and let's talk about pants so i have gone ahead and um decided to finally order the zebra brush pen which is great for that variation of the line and as i was looking um to order it on amazon i found two other zebra or well, actually quite a few zebra pens uh, that came up but i'm not sure whether it's by the same brand or just the name so there's this set here which comes uh, basically in three pans and it's called a zebra the classic ballpoint it's um it looks like it's great for writing and sort of illustrating or doodling so i thought i'll give it a go but i didn't know what to expect from it nor did i hear any kind of reviews about this or recommendations so um what I think about this pen is that it's kind of, it's all right. I wouldn't necessarily um, recommend it because, so here is a little doodle kind of illustration I did very quick. Um, but the problem I had with this pen that 
on one one bit here it just started skipping really really badly so um, that wasn't fun and the other thing I found is that when I illustrate with it there would be this um, little bit of ink kind of gathering and I would have to clean it off like you know this type of things um, which is quite annoying as well for illustrating so I don't know whether I would want to repurchase it or recommend it for that reason because I felt that it could have been better like at the moment we're so spoiled by the great quality of pens that when you get something that doesn't work 100% um, you kind of don't know whether it's you know a, a pen you would would enjoy to to use it so I think I'll just give one to Mason and one to my husband and I'll be okay with this one so I'm not you know loving it um, but it's all right the width of the line is 1.0 millimeters if you're interested so it's not too thick um, and it's kind of thin enough to get this um, detail so that's the one zebra set that I purchased the other zebra set is actually here so I'll just pull in these all these gorgeous pens so this I'm not sure if this is the same brand or not so it says zebra it's kind of it's written the same but it's the Sarasa clip um, pen set and these are 0 0.5 so they're super fine and they're so fun um, the reason they're called a clip pen is because actually these work like clips so you can clip them on um, but what I've done is, so they, there are 25 in the set and what I've done is I separated them into kind of pastels. They have a beautiful pastel range and also brights. So I've done some illustrating here on this side. So let me just get them all together. So this is my pastels and then I'll put them to one side and then here I have my bright so basically like that including this blue one here so they all are very smooth they're smooth like butter they're very fun to um to draw with they didn't do much skipping couple of them did a little bit but predominantly i didn't even need to start the pen like you know for the first time when you're drawing with it the ink or the gel would really flow out quite smoothly so they're really smooth and um, the only pan I had trouble with is this pan here that's the only one that didn't want to cooperate no matter what so it's the warm pink it did a lot of skipping and I just couldn't get it to flow nicely at all but one pan out of 25 I think that's good um, so here are the pastels beautiful colors so the other thing or downside to it is that they don't have names to them I hate it when um, there isn't a name oh actually this one has light blue some of them seem to do actually blue black red orange so which one didn't do purple pink okay so the brides all of them do have name but then when it comes gray has a name pastels seem not to have a name I mean it's like I can't read it it's not in English but the other colors like here I just noticed they do have a name so let's have a look yeah basically all the pastels and I seem to have separated them correctly um, all of them don't have like an English name to them so wouldn't be able to tell so I just kind of uh, wrote uh, as a description name rather than a name for them but the others do have and I think I got them quite right as well so it's like quite basic light green and you know all of that kind of thing so um, I didn't notice that before so when I was doing the swatches I kind of went ahead and described them as I would describe a color so let's have a look at this set so I ended um, 
I added up the grey to the pastels just because I felt it looked kind of nice within that colour scheme. It's a light grey so it looks pretty. Um, also while I was selecting the um, or separating the pastels there were a couple more colours I tried out which I thought to include but they're actually a little bit bright which are these two the pink and the orange um, so I didn't kind of ignore them but the rest are the pastels so you get the cool pink um, and the warm pink you get a teal a baby blue gorgeous these two colors as well a peach lilac and the light gray and here is the white so I've done a white illustration here which you won't see unless I tilt it. I don't know if you can pick up on that. Um, but here on the black, that's what it looks like. It's quite smooth, so it's pretty. And then next to it, I have illustrated or swatched out all the other bright colors, which is what they look like. So you get um, lovely yellows, oranges, reds. Uh, you know there's a big variety so you get four blues if you count this um, pastel here as well you get three, four greens and there are even two purples so one is lilac -y and the other one is kind of like bright purple and if you are a big fan of pinks then you're spoiled for choice because you get um, three here provided uh, your warm pink works and then you get two more on this side so that's five pinks that you get in this set so you got loads of colors and tones to work with and um, I would recommend them because they're really fun the um, thing that surprised me actually they when it comes to price uh, I think they cost me about 26 pounds or something or 27 so it comes to about a pound per pan because it's 25 in the pack however uh, the packaging they came in is basically this so with a little label and that's it that's what they were inside there was no kind of packaging to it whatsoever and it felt a little bit strange for you know when you pay uh, that amount of money you kind of expect at least some sort of like you know at least this type of packaging but yeah so that was a little strange uh, but it has been fun working with different colors and they're great for doodling so if you love that type of thing I could recommend that for you the other thing I would really highly recommend is this thing and um, it just kind of it's amazing so what it is it's actually designed f as a um it's called you rule bible mat so designed uh, for a bible and by bella boulevard for illustrated faith now this brand creates things for for bible journaling um but here is the thing you can completely use this in your regular journals if you have thin paper like this md cotton notebook or even tomorrow river paper it would be perfect because um what you do is you basically so it says here protect your bible's pages stabilize for illustrating convenient ruler guide for word art so you have a little ruler here on the side so if you want to do some writing um i mean this paper is not too thin it's not as thin as the bible paper which is more similar to tamoy river but you can still see the line so if you want to write something straight you can use it like that like a ruler and um the other thing that it's actually really good for is to prevent indentation in your um on your thin paper so for example when i was doing these swatches because it's a kind of like a ballpoint pen um you kind of press on it or if you're also using pencils you press on them if it's thin paper it tends to do the indentation not only 
on this side but it tends to do it even on on this page so if you insert your mat here and do it that way it you won't happen it that situation won't happen so I did it actually with these three flowers here on top just to show you the difference so when I flip over you can see that this page is completely smooth there is no indentation however this you can see the warping from pressure uh, when I was illustrating so here I didn't use the mat and here I did and it's super super smooth also it makes your pen kind of um, glide nicely on there I find so if you're into doodling I would highly recommend investing into this it's not expensive so it's quite a good price as well so I'll leave all the links below luckily um, I could find this on Amazon so that's really fun there is a larger one um, I think a bigger size and this is the smallest one that they do uh, I guess that's the size for um, Bible like a journaling Bible so probably that's uh, that's why so that is it for today and I hope you have a lovely rest of the day or evening whenever you're watching and I'll see you soon